Float tanks come in a range of different shapes and sizes. One will definitely suit you. The process and features outlined here are typical for most centers. Each center will have its own distinct style and features, which makes them unique. Upon arrival, registration will be confirmed and a staff member will show you to your private room. In the privacy of your room, the staff member will provide you with a personal introduction to floating and the floating tank's features. This is the time to ask any questions you may have. If you have sensitive ears, it would be best to use earplugs. If using them, it's best to pop them in your ear before you have a shower. This provides the best seal. The next step is to shower. This ensures that all perfumes and natural oils are removed from the body. All toiletries, towels and hair dryers are supplied, making it easy to pop into a center at any time. Once showered, hop into the tank. Float in the nude to enhance the float experience by eliminating all sensory input against the skin. Float tanks with doors or lids can be left open or closed. Ideally, you want to float with the lid door closed. However, it's not unusual for first time floaters to leave them open as they get used to the experience. 99% of floaters have the lid closed by their third float. With the lid down and the light off, you won't see, feel or hear almost anything. Most float tanks have a light switch within the tank, so you can determine if you want the light on or off. Ideally, you would float with the light off for the full sensory reduced experience. Most float tanks have an attendance button which can be used to call for assistance if required. Trained staff are always standing by, ready to assist. Fresh water spray bottles are provided in the float tank. As a first time floater, pay particular attention to your neck. It is typically the part of the body that's the last to let go of tension. If you need some additional support, centers provide a float halo or other types of floating device to support your neck. Allow the full weight of your neck to sink into the water. Given the density of the salt water, it's impossible for your head to submerge too far. You have now released the last muscle for total relaxation to commence. Allow yourself to become used to your new surroundings. Feel the water and the space around you. Remember, you are always in control. Soft music may play at the beginning and at the end of your float. This can be modified at your request. Focus on the rise and the fall of your breath. Take long, slow breaths deep into your belly. This will help your body relax and know it's safe. It helps your mind calm down from the busy world you would have left behind. This technique will help you fall into a deeper relaxation. Take the opportunity in your first float to experiment with your arm positions. Go with what feels right for you in the moment. When you hear the music begin to play again, this will indicate the end of the float. Shower to remove the excess salts from your skin. Once your float is complete, join the staff for a cup of a warm herbal tea in the breakout area. Take your time. Staff are always happy to talk about your float or just chill before you rejoin the world. Before you float, ensure your local centre is a member of the FTA. FTA member centres aim to practice the highest standard of service, hygiene and knowledge of float therapy. Look for the logo on their website. If you need to find out where your local centre is located, check the float finder on our website.